afternoon. Uh, welcome to this fees and funding webinar. I'm Kirsten Jackson, the Student Administration and Progression Manager, and I'm joined by James Tai, one of our fees and funding lead officers. Hello. Today's webinar will discuss funding for your postgraduate studies for 2020 entry. We appreciate that in the career market, a postgraduate degree qualification is a sound investment in your future. Knowing how you're going to fund your studies is a vital part to preparing for university. Today we're going to discuss the costs involved in studying, the funding opportunities that are available, including discounts, scholarships and government funding. Options around how you study your degree, which may help you cover your costs. So, we would recommend that you start by considering all the costs involved with studying and working out your budget. Consider tuition fees. Unlike undergraduate study, um, tuition fees for postgraduate courses vary depending on the subject you are studying. All our fees are shown on individual course pages and our main tuition fee pages on the SOAS website. If you're a current undergraduate student with us, we'll give you 10% off your master's study at SOAS as a member of our alumni if you join us within a year of graduating. Course duration. Whether you will be studying time for a year or will be studying with us part-time over two or three years, this will spread the cost of your course and allow you to work alongside it. It's also key that you think about living in London and how much you'll need for accommodation, travel and study materials, as well as living expenses. Funding can differ if you are considering a support postgraduate degree or a research degree. The good news is both now attract government funding. So looking at sources of funding for your degree, these include your personal savings, earnings from any part-time work, the UK government's master's loan from student finance, scholarships or employer or government sponsorship. In reality, we find most students need to think about a few of these options at the same time. Postgraduate master's loan is available for UK and EU nationals resident in England or EU nationals resident in the EU, EEA or Switzerland studying at any university for any subject. Course duration can matter and so as courses studied part time over three years aren't eligible for support. Good news is our full time and two year part time courses do qualify. You can borrow up to £11,222 for a master's if you are starting in 2020. It is different from an undergraduate student loan as money will be paid directly to your bank account. If you use it for master's tuition fees or living costs, that's up to you, but there isn't a separate postgraduate maintenance loan. Payments will be divided equally across your course and paid in three instalments per academic year. The exact value of each instalment depends on how much loan you request and how long your course is. Student Finance England will write to you to confirm when the instalments are due. Master's loans aren't means tested. You can borrow the same amount regardless of your income or your savings. If you're thinking about applying to SOAS, we have dedicated websites to help you with your application. SOAS offers a wide range of scholarships and these are aimed at deserving students um, system with their studies. These scholars are unique to SOAS and unlike loans you don't have to be pay them back. There are two types of scholarship opportunities that you may be eligible for, SOAS scholarships and external scholarships. We hold detailed information on these scholarships on our web pages. External scholarships are those funded by government organisations or charities that have an invested interest in higher education. For example, non-UK students can apply for government funding for postgraduate studies from the UK government through achievement awards and the Commonwealth Scholarships. These external awards are not administered by us, so you will need to contact the external organisations directly for further details and application procedures. You can apply for all scholarships which you might be eligible for, including SOAS scholarships and extra scholarships. In fact, we strongly advise you to apply for as many scholarships to increase your chances of gaining funding. Unless otherwise specified, you will need to complete a separate scholarship application form for each of the scholarships. 
Masters and research courses can be studied over different durations, and many students choose to do this to spread the cost of their study. However, you must balance this with the additional years of living costs if you want to study for a longer time. So we hope this has given you some food for thought around supporting your postgraduate study at SOAS. We'll still be here to help if you want to find out more. We have lots of information on our website. If you can't find the answer to your question there, the fees and funding team are available on the phone or by email. And we've left all our contact details up there for you. It's really down over to you now. If you have any questions that you would like to ask, please let us know. So Stata has asked a great question around our distance learning programs and the payment options that are available there. So for our distance learning programs, they're also um, eligible for the student loan um, and you can pay them via credit card, direct debit um, and you can pay by bank transfer. We don't offer an instalment um, arrangement for online distance learning, so it is a pay-as-you-study pro, um, programs, so you pay up front as you learn. So Kreti's asked a question around information and funding options for international students. Um, I would direct you probably to our scholarship pages, first of all. Our scholarships are um, a mix of availability for home and international students. Um, and probably on the table on the first page, it should give you a breakdown of which ones may be available to international students. 